Hello, lovely ones. Yes, the third key is coming to you now. And I guess by now you know that the key is not just a key that unlocks a door. It does unlock a door, but not a physical door. It's the door within and beyond. And it's also a musical key. And the musical key is not the, the key it is written in. The musical key is more a key that opens, that unlocks. So keys to you, I feel are very important at this time. What is it like for you? How have the first two keys served you? Did you receive them? Do they help you? This is not about self-help. This is about taking charge. So the third key is another interesting one. And it's about your heart. We are very mentally oriented and we have been homo sapiens for a very long time. But we're slow, slowly recognizing that something is shifting in this even physical and human experience. Many recognizing that without the heart, nothing happens. And we're not talking about the physical heart. It's also not really the heart chakra, but it's more connected to the ascended heart chakra and all its different layers. So when we talk about heart, we actually talk about that connection and we talk about that piece, that key, that takes us into our crystal body. Yeah, this is still a bit out there, but more and more people are actually talking about it. And the indigenous for a very long time were prophesizing that at this time from 2012 to 32, we are actually becoming homo luminous. So from homo sapiens, men and women of the mind, into homo luminous. Now, in order to get there, apart from many, 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 many things that we are not going to cover today, it's the heart. We are very reliant and dependent on what we think, how we think, rationality, logic, linearity. The homo luminous that we are all becoming, we sometimes resist in different areas, is not that anymore. So the key that we bring you today is the key to trust your heart. So of course, without being connected to the heart, it's not so easy, but we can. I guess it's about 15 years ago that I started um, activating heart lights. I did not have any clue at this time what it was all about. It was a preparation for 2020 for us to go on this journey, shifting into Homo Luminous. So this key to trust your heart is really, really important. Yesterday, as we have conversations, it was very interesting. How do I know it's my heart? Good question. The mind likes to control and think. So if you think something, then it has usually to do a little bit with control, with an analysis, with anything that is a thinking capacity. I think this is right. I think this is wrong. You see how this is controlling. I think that is this and I think that is the other. That's not your heart. It doesn't mean your mind doesn't serve you anymore. No. When you are feeling, then you're feeling either angry or upset. You're feeling fear or you're feeling happy and all the different ranges of feelings. Now, feelings are indicators and signs what's happening within and without. 
so this is also not your heart feelings usually don't stay very long unless you hold on to it and you think and you manifest them into big things and the victim and the judge and the hero and the rescuer and the villain come into play when the heart comes you feel resonance you are not thinking, you're not analyzing it, you're not judging it, you are not attaching a sense to it. Resonance is just something, mm, okay, yeah. It doesn't have any extension. And of course, as we practice and cultivating that, it gets easier. So I give you a key today to find that resonance so to find your heart and to trust it now your heart is also connected and opens up the homo luminous and your heart is also the first that connects to the energies that are at play with the stars with the aquarian age with all of that so i'm inviting you to this key that I'm gifting you today. The key to trust your heart. So how is the key? I want to thank in particular now my birds here who have decided to be part of that key that we're all gifting to you. And another good way to enjoy that key, to trust your heart, is breathing into your heart. And it's very simple. You just put your hand on your heart. You inhale. And you exhale. And you connect to your heart. And you learn how to trust. And exhale. And one more time. And exhale. Yes, it's good for you if you Breathe with your diaphragm and lift your tummy, your belly slightly. You can connect to your heart light. You can imagine whatever you want. You can breathe into your heart for half an hour. Just stay with that. Or three minutes or three breaths. You can be conscious of igniting that heart light to trust your heart. You can imagine it's expanding. You can imagine you are in the energy of your heart. Your energy of the heart will possibly be gold. It might have some rainbow colors. Just enjoy. There is no concrete design for what you are experiencing when you trust your heart. 
So it was a great pleasure to give you those three keys and hope you're enjoying this and I'm happy to doing much more. So just make your comments, subscribe and let me know what else you would enjoy. Thank you so much from my orchestra, the jungle, the trees, the plants, the animals, all the elements and the sunshine. Take good care.